every minute of the day I'm, I'm thinking of new scenarios. Lizanne Sanchez is doing everything she can to find out what happened to her older brother, Zane Plemons. You know, we're not going to give up and we're, we're going to keep going and be relentless until we find him or find something that leads us to him. A graduate of Medina Valley High School, the freelance journalist was last seen in Mexico May 21st when he stopped to cover a shooting in Nuevo Laredo. It sounded like it was out of a movie. Zane's family soon got a chilling message from the hotel where he was staying. Two masked and armed men had come in and they demanded his room key and they took his things and they left. In the week since we first covered Zane's disappearance, Lizanne's done countless interviews and heard from all sorts of groups looking to help. She says the story's been released to over 700 media outlets in Mexico and still no response from Mexican authorities. Nobody's putting boots to the ground looking for him and nobody's sending out people to look for him and, and that's a hard pill to swallow. We're asking for doors to be open so that we can find answers. So tonight, the family is holding a candlelight vigil for Zane at their family church. Thought I'd be feeling sad today, but but I'm excited. I'm excited to spread the word about Zane. Keeping Zane's face in the news and putting pressure on investigators. I'm a firm believer God answers prayers, but if we're all asking for the same thing, he's, I mean, if we're shouting it from the rooftops, he's got to hear it. Lizanne says this isn't a day of mourning. It's a time for hope. Someone has answers, and they're not giving up until they do too. Even though there's so much darkness in this situation and so little that we know, God's put amazing people in our lives to help us get some kind of breakthrough and you know that's worth celebrating.